Hi, my name is Jeremy Hindle. I'm the CEO of Omnigon Games and also the lead developer on the project Yumu. Yumu is a really big game, but at the core of it, it's a next generation interconnected sandbox. It's open-ended, we don't restrict players, and it's all about what the user wants to do with it. We're aiming for Yumu to appeal to all types of gamers. We've got the two game modes, play mode for those who just want to drop in and have a go, and we've got the build mode for those people who really want to put some time in and create amazing things. In build mode, the idea is that you're able to build anything you want. When building, you place basic shapes into the world, which you can then manipulate however you like. Then you can take those objects, add materials, physical properties, and deep functionality. On top of that, you have complete control over the day-night cycle, the speed of time, ambient lighting, and what that does is it really allows you to create any kind of environment that you can imagine. We don't want to restrict players, we want them to be able to make everything that they could ever imagine. That should be their limitation. Play mode is less about building and more about experiencing the creations of others. This means you could be dropping into a world where you'd have an inventory, quests, things to collect, or just places to explore. The first thing you're going to see in play mode will be your avatar. By default, your avatar is a completely blank canvas so that you can create him to look however you want and to make him able to fit into any environment that somebody might have created for you to experience. We've made the customization system really flexible so that every single time we add an item, it'll work with all the other items which already exist to customize your avatar with. Gadget should allow you to add whatever functionality you like to your creations. These could be things like opening doors when avatars approach them, damaging them when they're traversing traps, all sorts of things. Gadgets work essentially by the concept that there are two basic types those types being trigger and action gadgets. So for example, if you wanted to create a gun which your character could wield, you'd use a key press trigger gadget and then make it fire an action emit gadget. And then what's even more exciting is the thing that it emits could have gadgets of its own. So on collision, you could make it explode. You'll find abilities in play mode and anyone who's ever played any kind of action RPG will feel right at home. The special thing about the ability system in Yumi is that all abilities are combinable, which allows players to create their own unique abilities and therefore create new and unique game mechanics. Yumi is all about freedom, and for that to be possible, we believe that you have to be able to run your own server. We wanted to make running a server as easy as possible, so we've actually created two kinds of game servers for Yumi. One of the types of server is to allow players to just create a single world server and the idea is that you can just open it up, it has a GUI and anyone should be able to do it. Our other more advanced server has been highly influenced by our experience with other game servers and should allow you to scale with the size of your community. Modding is something we really want to support in Yumi. We believe the best things will come out of community created content and if we don't support modding, we're just going to be missing out. We don't want to be hands-offish. We don't want people to have to reverse engineer code. We want to help modders to create whatever they want. We also understand, being avid modders ourselves, that it's really important for you guys to be able to access all functionality in the game. So eventually, we want to add a full-fledged API with good documentation so people can create whatever they want. Yumiu hitting beta is more about the infrastructure behind it than the actual game itself. The most important thing for a user-generated content game is the ability for players to share their items and to find the worlds which they really want to visit. In order for us to do that, we really need to flesh out our web systems and we'll be asking you guys exactly what features are required for us to do that.